Hi, Ted Wilkes here with Arc Studio, and today I'm going to show you how to use Arc Studio's plot board within the software, and demonstrate how you can use it to assist you in planning your story and outlining your next screenplay. In Arc Studio, if I head to the right of the screen and click this icon here, it puts me into the plot board mode. Here, I've already outlined the key beats of the pilot of Dave Holstein's Kidding, in order to demonstrate the various functions on offer to you when you're using the plot board. But we'll come on to what this looks like the first time you set up a plot board project later. You'll see that each of the columns here represents the acts, and each of the rows represents the individual beats within the story. Each beat has a title attached to it, and on the left you can clearly see a colour which corresponds to the plot lines that beat is part of, so that you're able to keep track of your unfolding A, B, and C plots quickly and easily. The coloured dots on the right of each beat represent the different characters who are in that scene. You can also mark key beats with a star, which is useful for denoting the major turning points of each of the plot lines. These are really useful and visual ways that you can represent the structure of your story, and make sure that you are keeping track of the various movable parts within your narrative. So how do we create a beat within the plot board? Simply click here and add a new beat card, and then give it a title. Afterwards, hit tab so that you'll jump to the description section, where you can add what action is going to unfold as part of the beat. I then bring up the hash menu by hitting the hash key on my keyboard. This will showcase all of the story elements, including the plot lines, characters, and locations that I have already created within the plot board. With the up and down arrow keys, I navigate around the menu, and with the right arrow key, I attach a certain story element to that beat. Now everything is colour coded, and helps me understand how this beat relates to the rest of the unfolding plot. With the plot board, we work on our story structure intuitively with drag and drop. We can quickly try different arrangements, and our script will be rearranged accordingly. In order to move a beat card, make sure that you are grabbing it at the top, just above the title. Up here on the top right of the screen, I create and edit the story elements that are within the plot board. Here are all the plot lines, the characters, and the locations. If I open up each of these sections, I can add additional information about that specific plot, such as important notes about theme, influences, and their dramaturgical function. I can even add images by dragging and dropping them, so I can create a mood board about each of these elements. If I create a location, I can set it to be either interior or exterior by clicking on this icon down here. This then means that when I head over to the script with this specific location, it is already pinned to the autocomplete hotbar, allowing me to quickly and easily slot it into the narrative. If I'm currently contemplating where exactly a certain beat fits into the narrative, I can temporarily park it in the beat inbox over here, where I can simply drag and drop the created beat in. When I've got a clear idea of where they fit within the story, I can drag and drop these where they need to be, and can even move beats that I've changed my mind about, but want to keep, into this space, to think about using later. Along from the beat inbox, I can click this icon, which brings up a visual representation of the narrative. Here, we can see the various plot lines on a timeline. In this space, we can adjust the story values of the narrative. If you double click one of these beats on the timeline, you are then able to move the indicator up or down depending upon the strength of this beat against the emotional, psychological, spiritual, or other value that you have determined you want to measure the intensity of your narrative against. It may be that you are working with two competing emotions or ideas within a particular plotline, and can visually represent this dynamic using this tool.
Further down the hotbar, you will find the shortcuts to open all beats and close all beats. Heading over to the script view, we can see how Arc Studio has now laid out my beats on the page, giving each of them a scene header, which helps me scaffold my work. Next to these on the left, just off the page, is a little beat box, which if I click, opens up a display which shows me all of the information about the beat that I previously completed on the plot board, so that I can easily reference all of this material when I begin writing. The final thing I want to show you is what the plot board looks like when you first open it up. This is what the screen will look like the first time you open up the plot board, and I can either start the process of planning my beats from scratch, or I can use one of the various structural paradigms on offer to me to help scaffold my narrative around. Here, I'm going to choose Sid Field's structural paradigm, and you'll see that I already have all of the key beats assigned on my plot board, which gives me a reminder about how my work could be set out when using this template. I can then start writing out the title of the beat, but Arc Studio makes sure that the initial prompt stays. Happy writing! You can like this video and subscribe for more screenwriting tips. Or you can find more resources to improve your writing over at ArcStudioPro.com.